The first time tonight we're hearing from the Metro Atlanta judge arrested at a DeKalb or Buckhead nightclub. I'm Alan Devlin. And I'm Savannah Louie. The Douglas County Probate Court judge is out of jail and now she's ready to tell her side of the story. Atlanta News first anchor Tori Cooper is live in Douglas County outside the judge's courthouse. Tori, you were the only reporter who spoke with her tonight. I spoke with Judge Christina Peterson tonight at her home, and she told me that she's still healing from what happened between her and police last night. But before this, Judge Peterson was involved in a different investigation that got her in trouble with a state panel. Last night, Douglas County Probate Judge Christina Peterson was arrested outside the Red Martini Lounge in Buckhead. Atlanta police have not publicly released their report into what happened, but jail records show Peterson is now charged with simple battery against a police officer and felony willful obstruction of law enforcement by threats and violence. Some of Judge Peterson's neighbors who did not want to go on camera say this news caught them off guard. Well, I feel she had to have a reason for something to happen. But other neighbors tell a different story about Judge Peterson's conduct. One of them told me off camera Peterson sued her when she was the president of the homeowners association and she's still going through that litigation now. Court documents show Judge Peterson was investigated for taking action against the HOA. The head of HOA, she wouldn't release her position and the only way to get her down was to get um, signatures. A $70,000 settlement was eventually reached, but neighbors named as plaintiffs in the suit alongside Judge Peterson allegedly never received their share of the settlement money, but Judge Peterson did. Judge Peterson was also investigated and accused of violating courtroom security protocol and disrupting courtroom operations, among other things. But some of her neighbors still have her back. She's pretty fair with everything. Now, Judge Peterson plans on holding a press conference tomorrow at 2 p.m. alongside her attorney. But Judge Peterson has limited time left on the bench anyway because she lost her reelection bid in the May primaries. Reporting live in Douglasville, I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First.